Morning, happy Saturday. I apologize if it's a little bit loud in the background. We got some party planning stuff going on today, but I wanted to come to you with a fresh pineapple because of the tip yesterday. Um, so when I was at Costco yesterday, I could have bought already peeled pineapple and it was just wedged for $10. Or I could buy a fresh pineapple for $2. And in the summertime, these get down to like 99 cents. So I went with this and it's gonna give a little bit more love and attention, but we all know cooking with love is definitely up my alley. Um, so the tip yesterday was to know if a pineapple is fresh, is to pull a center leaf, and if it comes out easily, then it's fresh. Ta-da! If it does not come out easily, oh, I just poked myself with a sharper one. <laughs> um, if it does not come out easily, then it's not fresh. So see how easy that comes out? So I have a fresh pineapple. So I wanted to show you how to cut this with our pineapple wedger as well. So here we go. I'm going to put the camera down so it's not on my face. It's on the um, actual pineapple. So let me put you down. All right. So the trick for me, because of my height, is I like to cut the pineapple a couple times before I put it through the wedger. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my nice utility knife. I'm going to cut the top off. Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to cut the bottom off. This reminds me of the trip I probably will go on to Hawaii next year, and I'm so excited. So you want flat surfaces for the wedger. Now, because of my height, I'm about 5'3". This is oftentimes hard for me to get through with the pineapple wedger, so I like to cut mine in half again so that I have a little bit better leverage. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'm up on a chair trying to do it. So then I'm gonna take my pineapple wedger and we're gonna line it up with the side. And like any other cutlery tool, you're gonna rock it. Sorry, it's a little bit slippery in here because I had other fruit. I already have a whole big bowl of stuff over here. All right, so we're gonna rock it through. And then I'm gonna pull it back up through. So the core is in the middle. And then look at all these pieces just drop to the side. And I have two beautiful pieces of pineapple. I'm gonna cut a little bit of the side off just cause that was the skinnier side, but that's it. And I'm gonna nice slice it for the fruit salad. I'll show you one more time with the other half. Put this to the side, get my core out. When you use any kind of apple wedger or anything, make sure you're not pushing through the bottom part. The, these parts are very, very sharp. So I always push down and through, okay? Put those to the side and I'll show you with the other one. This one lines up a little bit better because it's the fatter part of the pineapple. Again, you're gonna rock it through. Let the blades do the work for you. And then I'm gonna pull it back up. And then these pieces drop to the side. And I have again, some really beautiful pieces of pineapple. So a pineapple costs you $2. The pineapple wedger is a $20 investment. So essentially, this pays for itself in about two times that you use it. Because if you're gonna buy the fresh sliced pineapple, it's about $10, where this, a pineapple, costs you about $2. So fresh sliced pineapple for this fruit salad, and also the tip with the top. This is so pretty. One time I had somebody bring a fruit salad and they left this in the middle as decoration. I thought that was such a clever idea. It was kind of prettier than this one. This one's a little bit beat up. But now I know that my pineapple's fresh. Everyone have a great happy Saturday. Jack's birthday party's today, so we're gonna find ourselves being very busy. But have a great Saturday and I'll see you later. Bye.